Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the comparison between impulse invariance and bilinear transformation. The first point that is the poles are transferred by using the function that is 1 upon s minus pk after transformation is 1 upon 1 minus e raised to pk ts z raised to minus 1. Whereas poles are transferred by using these equations in bilinear transformation that is s is equal to 2 by ts z minus 1 upon z plus 1. Now the second point will be the mapping which is many to 1. Here the mapping is 1 to 1. Here in impulse invariance the aliasing effect is present whereas in bilinear transformation aliasing effect is not present. Now it is not suitable to design high pass filter and band reject filter. High pass filter in this case and band reject filter can easily be designed. Here only poles can be mapped. But in this case of BLT both the zeros and poles can be mapped. The last point which is a major point why we use impulse invariance is that no frequency warping effect. In case of BLT the frequency warping effect is present. If we compare the graphs of both the pulse invariance and BLT, we can observe that there is a frequency warping effect present in BLT. So these are the some points which are the comparison between the impulse invariance and bilinear transformation. Thank you.